Hey Flob and welcome back. This week's video tutorial is going to be about modding Beat Saber for awesome wall maps so you can play some of these beautiful works of art and even $100 bills 100 lanes. Stick with me and I'll show you exactly what to do. For this video you will need your Quest 2 headset, a PC or a laptop, a Type-C cable and a device that has the Quest app on it. We need to do two things before we can mod our game. First we need to create and enable a developer account. So type this into your browser or click the link below. If your account isn't already verified you'll have to do so by either adding a credit card, setting up two-factor or adding a mobile number to your Facebook account. When you finish verifying your account, you can go back to the developer site and it should say that you're verified. Then click on organizations in the top left and create, then choose an organization name. You can pick whatever you like, um, but make sure you read everything and know what you're agreeing to and hit submit. Power on your Quest 2 headset, then open up your Quest app, click on menu and then devices. Then scroll down to headset settings, click on developer, and then make sure it's enabled. The second thing we need to do is make sure that app sharing is turned off. App sharing will mess up the modding process and not allow you to mod your game. So you'll need to go into your settings, account, and make sure it's turned off and also that there are no other accounts linked. Now that those two things are out of the way, we need to install SideQuest to our PC or laptop. SideQuest is going to allow us to sideload BMBF onto our headset, which allows us to install the modded version of Beat Saber. So type this into your browser or click the link below. Okay, we're going to click the download for the advanced installer. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and install it and then launch SideQuest. Plug your Quest 2 into your PC and allow the pop-up window that shows in the headset. If you do not get a pop-up window, check out my quick fix tutorial on how to show files, linked below. After you've done that, you should see that you're showing connected in the top left corner of SideQuest. If you're not showing connected, then you need to make sure that you've allowed all the notifications in the headset when you plug it in. Then in the search bar, type in BMBF, and then click download app should see it say success in the bottom right corner when it's done. Now in your headset, click on all in the top right, down to unknown sources, and launch BNBF. You'll want to hit allow, and then make sure here that your version of Beat Saber is supported by BNBF, and then you can hit get started. We're just going to follow along the prompts here. I do suggest that you read everything so that you understand the modding process. If you get this pop-up, click on settings, and then allow the source, hit back, and then refollow the prompt. If you get this pop-up, just click on wait. If you hit close, you will have to restart. You'll get this pop-up here that tells you to restore the app. It's unofficial. We're just gonna hit close. Technically, we are in an unofficial version because we just modded our game. And then when you get to this part, just hit done here. We don't want to open yet. And then we're going to hit sync to Beat Saber. Now that we're done, let's close out of BNBF and then go to apps. You can go back to all this way and launch Beat Saber normally. It is going to say unofficial app. Again, like I said, we're on a modded version. You're always going to get this pop up telling you to restore it. You're just going to hit open app. You want to allow this pop up. If your game crashes, go into BMBF on the tools page, click on check core mod updates. And then if it lets you in the top right, sync it to Beat Saber and then restart your headset. This should fix your crashing. Go back to questmodding.com. From here, click on released mods and make sure you choose the correct mod version that matches your game. Then you'll need to find Chroma, noodles, and mapping extensions, and click download for each one. Launch BMBF, then go to the tools page and type this address into your web browser. Okay, if you typed everything incorrectly, you should be met with this page to upload your mods. If you're not getting this page, make sure there are no typos, your PC and VR are on the same local network, and your quest is active and on the tools page and not asleep. Once you're showing connected in the bottom right, you're good to go. 
Click in the center or drag and drop your mods. It should show queued in the bottom right and then hit sync to Beat Saber. Now to search for chroma or wall maps, you'll want to click on more songs. For chroma maps, select required, then you can download any maps you want. Make sure you put it back to not required, then you can filter for noodle maps, which is NE. These are going to be your wall maps and just hit download. As always, thanks for watching. The like button told me it was really lonely last night and would like you to keep it company. Just thought you should know. YouTube subscriptions are completely free. I actually love it when I get likes and subscribes on YouTube. You can sub to me today on YouTube, so feel free to go to my YouTube channel and, and subscribe. Oh, yeah.